is up, you noobs? My name is Doc, and welcome back to another update on Carveros. What's Carveros, you ask? Carveros is a multiplayer-focused, souls-like survival game that I've been producing for some time now. And by the way, we now have a Steam page. Do yourself a favor and go add it to your wish list. Also, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and click that right now. Or else. Anyway, so uh, in our last devlog that I uploaded, I went over um, all the work we've gotten done in creating an inventory system and also making it so you could equip items. And in this video, I wanted to go ahead and jump into showing you guys some of the work I've been able to get done on the map for the demo. Actually, before I show you what I've done, I'm going to show you kind of the process that I did to get there. So, uh, bear with me if you don't like this stuff. Anyway, let's, let's do that. Basically, the first thing we kind of do here is we jump into Blender, and I kind of, in Blender, threw together a pretty basic model of like the map itself. So it was pretty low poly. I tried to make sure that it wasn't too much and it wasn't going to be uh, too much performance on the, you know, the, the game. And once when I have it in my Unity scene, all I have to do is have my Blender object selected in my scene now, and then I can create a terrain based off of that. And then now I can bring these, put them onto the same space, and just start modeling around with the terrain using the terrain's uh, abilities and unity to just kind of add to that and it's much better this way things like Pro Builder. I'm not very familiar with those, but I do like that in the terrain you can kind of create all these different layers of textures and basically paint with those and kind of blend them together. The other reason why I'm kind of doing this all this way is in Blender I separated different parts of the map as their own kind of separate object is so that as you're playing you could have areas of the map that you're not in yet deactivated on top of being able to like limit how much your camera in game is actually rendering as well. Also, nobody's really said anything about the mustache stuff. Do you like the mustache? I need to know. I need to know if I'm going to shave this. It's getting kind of itchy too, so let me know. So yeah, once when we got kind of the uh, base of the map with the terrain and getting some colors in, I then started really working with getting more details. Alex had modeled a few different types of coral. Pretty simple, but I was able to throw in some different textures and normal maps and uh, coloring to those and then start placing them throughout the map, building up the environment really to give that feel to the player that this is a coral reef. Carveros is kind of based on an island, so there needs to be a lot of water, so one of the next things I had to work on was creating uh, water. To do this, basically I used a shader graph, which is a cool little nifty capability that's run in Unity. It has all these like little nodes that you can put in, and basically these nodes are almost just like pre-written script. I mean, I'm probably really bad, you know, doing this. What am I even doing? Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm an amateur. Uh, shaders are really cool. I'm also using it to create volumetric lighting. Volumetric lighting is what these light rays here you kind of see coming down. They have like kind of a mist and uh, basically they react kind of like your own shadowing. Normally in Unity you can't really do this without kind of creating your own unless you're using HDRP which is kind of always changing and being updated so it's not a great thing to use when you're working like a long-term project. So I'm using Universal Render Pipeline and that does not have any volumetric lighting capabilities. Since I have kind of like a cave system going, it, it would look really bad to not 
deserves this. With me, without me, with me, without me. Anyway, I'm sure you didn't want to know any of that. So let's go ahead and move on to basically Carveros, the demo. What, what, what am I envisioning? What do I want you guys to kind of see and get out of this? And uh, I'll let you guys be the judge and basically tell me if I'm kind of achieving this vision. So. demo map is that you'll be on this merchant ship traveling to the mainland of Carveros and somewhere along the way you end up getting shipwrecked under this island that's off the coast of the mainland and this island is kind of dying and decaying so you'll start off washed up ashore and basically there's all this dead coral so it's all very kind of bleached it's bleak it's a lot of B words, you'll get to a spot where it kind of opens up and this would be where there's a lot of like kind of scavenging creatures there. The water is pretty murky and gross. And then as you kind of work your way up and out of this area, you'll start to hit some spots that are flourishing and away from all the dead. And you'll have some nice bright corals, this lively vegetation and some different kind of creatures living in this area. And then as they continue to go through the island, they'll eventually find because of why the island is kind of dying. Nasty kind of areas of just carved out parts through the whole island. But that's basically kind of the vision for Carveros and especially the demo map. 